stop anticipating tiredness. Recently, I was on a flight from San Francisco to Chicago when I overheard one of the silliest conversations imaginable. It demonstrates a critical yet common mistake that many people seem to make on an ongoing basis. The conversation, which must have lasted at least half of an hour, centered around how tired each of these two people were going to be, tomorrow and all week. It was as if each person was trying to convince the other, and perhaps themselves, how many hours and how hard they were working, how few hours of sleep they were going to get, and, most of all, how tired they were going to be. I wasn't quite sure if they were bragging or complaining, but one thing was certain, they were appearing more and more tired the longer the conversation continued. They each said things like, boy, am I going to be tired tomorrow, I don't know how I'm going to make it through the rest of the week, and I'm only going to get three hours of sleep tonight. They told stories of late nights, lack of sleep, uncomfortable hotel beds, and early morning meetings. They anticipated feeling exhausted, and I'm sure they were going to be correct in their assumption. Their voices were heavy, as if the lack of sleep they were going to get was already affecting them. I actually felt myself getting tired just listening to part of the conversation. The problem with anticipating tiredness in this way, or in any way, is that it clearly reinforces the tiredness. It rivets your attention to the number of hours you are sleeping and how tired you are going to be. Then, when you wake up, you'll likely do it again by reminding yourself how few hours it has been since your head hit the pillow. Who knows what really happens, but seems to me that anticipating tiredness must send a message to your brain reminding you to feel and act tired because that is the way you have programmed yourself to respond. Clearly, everyone needs a certain degree of rest. I've read a few articles suggesting that many, if not most, of us don't get enough sleep. And if you're tired, the best possible solution would probably be to try to get more sleep. But in those instances when it's not possible to do so, the worst thing you can do, in my estimation, is to convince yourself, in advance, that you're going to be exhausted. I've found that the best strategy is to get as much sleep as I possibly can and be grateful for whatever amount that might be. Because I travel a great deal for speaking engagements and promotional events, there are times when I get as few as 3 or 4 hours of sleep, occasionally even less. I have noticed, however, that if I simply forget about it, absolutely avoid the tendency to keep track, I'm far more rested with the sleep I do get. Then as soon as I can, I take a nap, and all is usually well. One thing I try never to do is to discuss my lack of sleep with other people. I've learned that when I do, I always feel more tired as a result. I've noticed this habit of anticipating tiredness creep into the conversations of many people, don't feel bad, I've done it plenty of times in the past. If you are someone who does this, see if you can avoid the tendency as much as possible. If you do, you may find yourself feeling less tired. It seems reasonable to assume that, if you aren't as tired, you probably won't be sweating the small stuff as much at work. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon before you go. It encourages us to create more informative content for you. Thank you.